As you guys can see, I have these buckets here. Um, try to make that a little bit more even. Um, and then I have two bottles filled up. I will show you the two new additions here soon, but I'm going to feed the big group of calves first. So as you can see, they have since figured out how this works. Besides the one underneath there, I don't know what he's doing. So as you can see, they've all figured out how this works, except for number three here. And I just let them get all situated first, make sure they're all finding it. And then I get my two buckets of milk. So as you can see, I left that one a little bit with a little bit less. That's because this guy right here is probably gonna drink the rest of that. Um, and I don't want him getting too much. So that's why I didn't fill his up either. So this guy here on the outside with the fat little belly here, um, this red one, he is always the first one on the milk bar and he's normally the last one on it as well. So he definitely likes his milk and he will even drink as much water as he possibly can until he looks like he's about to explode. Um, which, if he's drinking water, that's great. But apparently the other day he ha got too much milk and um, I showed up, I don't know, four hours, five hours later just to check up on him. And he was standing there bloated and well, barely standing there, he was shaking and um, yeah, he couldn't hardly walk around or stand up. So what we did is, this isn't room and bloat like um, like an older cow or older calf would be. Um, this is due to their abomasum, not being able to uh, get rid of all the milk that they took in. Normally when a calf drinks milk, uh, all the milk should be out of their body within like two to three hours. Um, it'll be digested and ready to go and out of there pretty quick. So what happens is they drink too much, it doesn't get out of there, um, and they sit there in pain because they're bloated and can't get it out. So what we did is, because um, like I said, this is his stomach. When he was bloated, it was probably about there on both sides. Um, so what we did is, since he couldn't really do much, we flipped him on his back upside down. He was laid down flipped him upside down and a lot of times um, they'll sedate a calf to do this but um, we didn't have time for that because I didn't know how long he'd been here. Um, we were trying to work quick so we flipped him on his back, um, his belly was pointing towards the sky and all we did was um, gently start pushing on both sides of his stomach and sort of massaging and pushing um, hoping that gas would find its way out. And we did that for probably, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. 
and we couldn't see anything or hear anything that come out that came out so he didn't poop he didn't let any gas out so we didn't really know for sure if that helped so i gave him a little shot of penicillin um, one dose for his size and we just hoped for the best and i knew if it worked he would be alive the next time i came to check him and if it didn't he'd be dead so um, that's all we could do because like i said they die pretty quick and um came back in two hours and he was perfectly fine he still had a little bit little bit of bloat in him but um he pushed it all out later eventually in the next by the time i came out for evening feeding um he was all better ready to drink so so yeah now i'm definitely watching how much he gets and how much each of them get because i don't want I don't want anyone to get too much um, again and start bloating. Another update, scours wise, um, none of them have scours now. Um, I think they're all over it. Um, as you can see him here, he just laid in some old poop. He's not actually scouring. Um, so yeah, clean rear ends, at least nothing wet. Um, I don't know if you can see number three, maybe. Um, he has some drainage coming out of his eyes, um, discharge. The other day he had pus, well I say pus, I don't know what it was, but um, pus around his eyes, some kind of white discharge. And so I did spray his eye with anti-pink eye stuff and wash it all out. And so I think he's getting over it. I don't, I don't know if it was pink eye for sure, but it was definitely an eye infection at least. So he's getting over that. But I think other than that, these guys are doing a lot better. Um, for all of you wondering about number six, um, he got over scours. Um, he's fighting for the milk. He still does drink a little bit slower, but I always watch him make sure he gets his full amount before the others bully him off. So you wanted to see the new additions. I have two here, one of which I've had for four days now, I think. And this other one here, I've only had for two. Um, they're about the same age and from different farms. So this one here, which is probably going to be hard to see here. Um, he is, um, out of the Gelby bull, um, and a Holstein cow. Really, really, really shiny. Um, probably one of the prettiest calves I've had so far. Um, and he's a good drinker. Um, wasn't hard to get started at all. And yeah, good calf, 150 bucks. Every single calf I've gotten this year has been 150 um, so no complaints. And then this is the other guy. He is out of the um, half Her Hereford, half Angus bull. Um, he's not, not nearly as pretty, but um, for black baldy, he doesn't look too bad. So yeah, this guy, he is actually kind of a pain on the bottle, um, which the farmer told me about. He said normally you have to corner him and uh, corner him to get to suck on anything. But um, the last time I fed him, he took the bottle by himself, which is good. Um, so I think he'll start drinking better here. But it's time to feed these guys. And I have two bottle holders, so that's normally what I do. There's a praying mantis. Don't want to kill him. Somebody out on the grass. There he goes. Anyway, so I'll take this milk, slide it in the bottle holders, and hey, buddy. Right here, right here. Come on. Nope, back up, back up. See if he takes it this time. He's nibbling. There he goes. All right, so bottle holders. Um, I only have two here, as you can see. I'm not a big fan of them. We've had them from our last group when I was little when we raised calves, um, which so they've lasted a long time, but. I really, really don't like them, mainly because they work great when the calf is two days old, but when you have a bigger calf like these two, 
Um, he doesn't really he doesn't really want to go that low. Um, it's a little bit too low for him. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm gonna build some um, bottle holders that are on the outside of the pin so I can just slide it in. They can't bump it out because the main issue here is, um, which this panel actually works great because they can't push it out when they bump. Um, but like on this one, he can push it right off the thing and the bottle ends up on the ground and all that. So, um, so what I'm gonna do is build some bottle holders outside of the pins that I can just wire here and I can just slide the bottles. They'll be made out of wood because um, I have wood and I got it for free. So yeah, I'll, I'll have a video about that if I end up building some, but I think I will because he doesn't have room this way. So if I could put the bottle out here, he would have plenty of room to stretch out and drink. So anyway, these are the two new ones. Um, I'm supposed to have 12 more coming from this same farm that I got this guy from. Uh, he said probably about five this week. So now I think is when I'm gonna get the majority of the calves here. Um, from this farmer, I'm supposed to get um, about 20 some more, but he didn't know how much, how many he'd have real soon. So, and from this farm, the guy actually, they weren't selling the heifers before, um, but these last 12 cows they have calving, he said they're getting rid of all of them. So um, if they have heifers, I'll be getting heifers from them, which will be good. Um, I like black white faces. Um, and they seem to do better around um, our place. So at sales barns around here, if they're black and they have a white face, they normally do a little bit better, which um, I know a lot of you have different opinions on um, your favorite cows, but um, for me, it's black white face and yeah. So guys, after I fed them, I did give them some new bedding. Um, he hasn't gotten bedding yet since he's new and he was on dry ground, but he um, had obviously gotten that pretty wet. So this here is just some old hay. It's not moldy, it's not dusty. You don't want either of those with young calves. Um, this is just hay that it's been sitting out for a long time and cows probably won't be eating it. So um, yeah, I'm still using old hay for now. I did locate some straw. Um, and the reason why I haven't picked up straw sooner is because people are asking way too much in my opinion um, when people are wanting $6.50 for a little bale of straw that's a little bit overpriced. So I've been waiting and luckily I did wait because I found um, found a guy. But anyway, this year he planted a lot of wheat and so he said he had 30 some thousand bales of straw and he would get rid of them in 21 bale bundles. So they're already bundled together and strapped together um, and he can just load them right onto a flatbed truck and I won't have to do any loading. So for $3.50, it's not bad. So that's what I'm gonna be going for next and hopefully the next video I make, I will have straw bales because this old hay um, it definitely doesn't work as well as straw does. So but yeah, that's the situation I'm betting. But yeah, guys, that's the calves. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you're new here and you've made it this far, first of all, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed and you enjoy this kind of content, make sure you do so um, and click that little bell there to notify you when I post a video. So with that being said, I will see you guys next time.